A local church evacuated and put on lockdown for several hours today. Ocala police initially thought it was a bomb threat, but later determined no direct threat was made. This all happened at the Meadowbrook Church on Southwest 47th Avenue in Ocala. It started after police got a call about a man in the parking lot holding a package and making threats. But as News 6's Amanda Castro explains, he will not face any criminal charges. This isn't the first time this man has been on Ocala police's radar. In fact, we found out he's been taken into custody under the Baker Act four times in recent months. And now they're hoping that today's incident will finally get him the help he needs. The school day at Meadowbrook Academy had just started. Students still in the car line when a Meadowbrook church staff member saw a man in the parking lot acting strangely. He was talking to himself, uh, but he was holding a box, obviously speaking in a way that was somewhat alarming to them. And so they took that as a potential threat. They were under the perception that he was there making threats against the church and that he may have a bomb in his possession. The church staff member called 911. Ocala police responding quickly, evacuating the church and putting the school on lockdown. The 24 year old man taken into custody under the Baker Act. But investigators didn't know if the bomb threat was real. The x-ray of the box was inconclusive, so they did have to detonate the box. However, we've not found any evidence that there was actually a bomb inside, and we did search his residence. And Police are thankful the church wasn't in any danger, but they're now concerned about the man. We're told he has a history of mental illness, taken into custody for four mental health evaluations in recent months, and he hasn't been taking his medications. Ocala PD. Hopeful today's bomb scare will be a turning point in his life. That we're able to use this as the opportunity to get him connected to the help that he needs, and we hope that he'll continue with treatment so that he won't end up in this situation again. In Ocala, Amanda Castro, News 6.